of the 90s, definitely in my top two as far as decades go. One of the best things about the 90s was the television. 90s TV shows were the bomb diggity. Off the chain, off the heezy, fly, fat, da bomb, da other than ridiculous slang terms, 90s television did teach me some valuable life lessons, which I want to share with you guys on this lovely Throwback Thursday. Legends of the Hidden Temple was an awesome game show that took teams of preteens and challenged them both mentally and physically as they all vied for a chance to get a trip to space camp or a lifetime supply of Chef Boyardee. Which brings us to our first life lesson. If you don't understand the basic anatomy of a monkey, you probably won't get very far in life. I just don't get why these bright young minds couldn't figure out a three-piece puzzle. Feet, body, head. Done! Also, if you want to win, don't be an orange iguana. Nick Gass was... Nick Gass. Nick Gass was the games and sports part of Nickelodeon that featured such shows as Double Dare, Double Dare 2000, Family Double Dare, Super Sloppy Double Dare, Super Special Double Dare, Double Dog Dare, Triple Dog Dare, Quadruple Dog Dare, and many more. Okay, I may have made up a few of those. Basically any game shows or sports related programs were on this channel. Which brings us to lesson number two. No matter how much you beg, no matter how much you plead, your parents will not fly you across the country to have some teen celebrities try to figure out what your super secret talent or crazy random collection is on Figure It Out. Sometimes streams just don't work out. Doug was one of my favorite shows as a kid because I totally identified with him. Weird, awkward, nerdy, loves mayonnaise. We were basically soulmates. If someone has pea green skin, they're probably a douchebag. Roger Klotz, case in point. But if their skin is a nice shade of turquoise or bluish green, you should probably be best friends with them. Rocco's Modern Life was one of the weirdest shows of my childhood. One of my favorites, but still one of the weirdest. It's centered around a wallaby, because kids totally know what a wallaby is. He's best friends with a mentally unstable turtle and one of the weirdest cows I've ever seen in my life. Now that I think about it, I think Heifer is the reason my cow doodles look the way they do. If you go back and rewatch that show, you'll realize how secretly dirty it was. That thing was littered with sexual innuendo. So the lesson here is for parents today to just lighten up. We were all watching a wallaby work at a phone sex hotline as kids, and we turned out pretty normal. For the most part, it's time for the lightning round. Do as the ancient Hawaiians did and also your parents might be secret stoners. Someone, somewhere, could very possibly have a shrine devoted to you with locks of your hair and two pieces of bubble gum. <sighs> Wear bright red lipstick and don't shave your armpits. Wait, one of those is wrong. If your life isn't smashing, you're doing something wrong. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm apparently Ashley, and apparently Doug's neighbors, the Dinks, their name stands for double income, no kids. This can only mean one thing. Dinkleberg.